30 surgeons, nurses and doctors are asking state leaders today to quickly approve the sale of the ECHN hospitals to Yale New Haven Health before it's too late. They say if something is not done soon, then their doors are going to close, leaving the patients in all of their cities vulnerable. The Eastern Connecticut Health Network includes hospitals in Manchester, Rockville and Waterbury, all owned by Prospect Medical Holdings. Workers say they're concerned about the deteriorating financial conditions, saying the vendors aren't being paid and procedures are being canceled due to lack of resources. We have struggled to have supplies, to receive payment for our services and to provide care. Over a year ago, Yale New Haven Health put in an offer to buy ECHN, but that sale still has not been approved as state leaders reviewed the agreement. These health care workers say their doors are going to close without a quick decision. You've heard from the hospitals at times and then some of the people and the people who are affiliated with them that the well-being of the patients is now going to get to the point of being threatened. Health leaders say ECHN's current ownership has weakened the network over time, hitting a breaking point after a cyber attack over the summer due to poor quality computer systems. Even during these challenges, they're still treating patients, but it's not something that's coming easily. I think the cyber attack was worse for us in the emergency room in the hospital than COVID. They said, when are you going to start taking the ambulances again? We can't take the influx. Patients are waiting in the emergency room for days. We're not talking six hours to get a bed upstairs. We're talking 24, 48 hours. And this was not an official meeting held by ECHN or backed by Prospect Medical Holdings. This was something that the workers did on their own merit, on their own time. Now, state leaders did also not give a timeline on when a decision could be made, but they did agree and say that something needs to be done soon. In Hartford, Brooke Griffin, Fox 61, Connecticut's News